Our universe is so much larger than we could ever imagine. We have only touched the tip of the iceberg in our quest to understand the planets and celestial bodies around us. Each discovery brings us one step closer. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be taking a look at three interesting discoveries. ESA Huygens probe landed on Saturn's moon Titan. Roughly 17 years ago, on January 14, 2005, the Huygens probe landed on Saturn's moon Titan. Since 2005, Huygens has provided scientists with data to help them better understand this one-of-a-kind planet. The Huygens probe landing was the farthest any probe had traveled before. After traveling through space for over seven years, it also became the first to land in the outer solar system. The Huygens probe weighed roughly 700 pounds and was shaped like a shellfish with a hard protective outer shell. The probe had the ability to measure many aspects of Titan's surface, including its physical and electrical properties, wind speed, radiation levels, and the chemical gases that are present. The probe also had the ability to take photos of the surface. Imaging team leader Carolyn Porco wrote, I distinctly recall the dreamy feeling of being in one universe one moment and in another universe the next, but it was no dream. We had, without doubt, journeyed to Titan, ten times farther from the Sun than the Earth, and touched it. The solar system suddenly seemed a very much smaller place. The images returned to the European Space Agency included photos of an apparent shoreline, including breaks in the Earth carved by some sort of flowing liquid. There was also evidence that supports the idea of an underground ocean of water and ammonia deep beneath an icy crust. One of the reasons scientists are interested in researching the surface of Titan is because of the presence of chemicals that are believed to have been present on a young Earth. Nitrogen and methane were both found in the atmosphere. The methane element is interesting because methane's lifespan in Titan's atmosphere is only tens of millions of years, meaning the methane must somehow be replenished throughout time. There were changes with the Huygens probe. These changes are helping scientists perfect probe design as we continue to explore space. The first problem the ESA encountered was the spin direction of the probe. After an unexpected flip in the spacecraft's spin, it descended onto Titan more quickly than anticipated. The spin direction and speed were essential to scientists because any alterations could affect the spacecraft's ability to stabilize for landing. The ESA explained, luckily, the magnitude of this reversed spin was similar to that expected by the researchers, meaning that the unexpected flip affected the timing of the planned observations but did not dramatically affect their quality. Unfortunately, there was also an issue with a programming sequence that meant about 350 images Huygens took were never sent back to Earth. Not only did Huygens provide scientists with imperative data about Saturn's moon Titan, but 17 years later, the data acquired during Huygens' journey is still helping spacecraft designers create future probes. NASA Space Probes discover man-made barrier surrounding Earth. Humankind accidentally protected itself from possibly dangerous cosmic events. An artificial barrier, or bubble as some call it, was found surrounding the Earth. This barrier not only affects weather events in space, but also protects us from dangerous cosmic weather. Human impact on Earth is undeniable, but now we know our technology significantly impacts our outer atmosphere and beyond. As it turns out, the bubble was created by the interaction of man-made technology and space. More specifically, the interaction between high-energy radiation particles in space and man-made radio communications from Earth. The radio waves in question are typically used to communicate with submarines under the ocean's surface and are frequently used in science, engineering, and military operations. As these waves work to reach their destination, they can end up reaching out beyond Earth's atmosphere and interacting with external radiation particles in space. Dan Baker from the University of Colorado Laboratory for Atmospheric and Space Physics calls the bubble an impenetrable barrier. This artificial barrier protects Earth 
from possible dangers like solar flares or coronal mass ejections. All these phenomena can lead to radiation particles entering the atmosphere, which could interrupt our electrical grids and radio wave communications. So how was the barrier discovered? In 2012, a mission was launched with the sole purpose of studying the Van Allen radiation belts. Five years later, in 2017, scientists were surprised to instead find a low-frequency barrier that stopped dangerous solar discharges from impacting Earth. The barrier or bubble also happens to line up with the inner edge of the Van Allen belts. This information has scientists suspecting that the radio waves used in submarine communications, VLF waves, repel radiation particles. If we stopped using VLF waves, the radiation belts would move much closer to Earth's atmosphere. Right now, the radiation belts are further away from Earth than they were in 1960. Scientists have been discussing how this finding shows our impact on space. We have, without a doubt, made an impact on the Earth, but this barrier may be one of the best things that we have done for our planet. Scientists say that four mysterious signals from outer space are coming from galaxies like ours. Astronomers have discovered strange signals coming from the center of the Milky Way galaxy. Australian scientists, using the Australian Square Kilometre Array Pathfinder radio telescope, detected these signals four times over the span of two weeks. The transmissions, originating roughly 4,000 light-years away near the core of our galaxy, consist of irregular pulses and bursts that scientists have never seen before. During the early stages of planet formation, radio signals of similar frequencies are emitted. These new signals are more erratic than those emitted during planet creation, confusing scientists. Nothing about the signals follow a pattern that has been seen before. The intensity of the radio signal varies randomly. The orientation and rotational direction of the transmission is random and changes frequently, and the timing of the signals cannot be planned. Experts from the University of Sydney have shared they believe the signals are coming from a new type of star that we have never seen before. Ziteng Wang, a PhD student in the School of Physics at the University of Sydney, said the brightness of the object also varies dramatically by a factor of 100, and the signal switches on and off apparently at random. We've never seen anything like it. Due to the variability of the transmission, Scientists first believed it could be from a supernova, solar flare, or pulsar. But the emissions received do not match with what is known about those phenomena. Still, scientists have no idea what caused the signals. Their hope is placed on a new radio telescope being built within the next decade. The telescope, called the Transcontinental Square Kilometre Array Radio Telescope, will hopefully solve this mystery. Professor Tara Murphy from the Sydney Institute for Astronomy and the School of Physics said, We expect the power of this telescope will help us solve mysteries such as this latest discovery, but it will also open vast new swathes of the cosmos to exploration in the radio spectrum. From discoveries that help us understand the universe to discoveries that make us question what we already know, the vast expanse of space continues to make us wonder. But what do you make of these discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below, and please help us grow this community by liking and subscribing to our channel. Thank you for watching.